The Tartessian language is the extinct Paleo-Hispanic language of inscriptions in the southwestern script found in the southwest of the Iberian Peninsula, mainly in the south of Portugal, and the southwest of Spain. There are 95 of these inscriptions, the longest having 82 readable signs. Around one-third of them were found in early Iron Age necropolises or other Iron Age burial sites associated with rich complex burials. It is usual to date them to the 7th century BC and consider the southwestern script to be the most ancient Paleo-Hispanic script, with characters most closely resembling specific Phoenician letter forms found in inscriptions dated to c. 825 BC. Five of the inscriptions occur on stelae with what has been interpreted as late Bronze Age carved warrior gear from the Urnfield culture. Name most researchers use the term Tartessian to refer to the language as attested on the stele written in the southwestern script, but some researchers would prefer to reserve the term Tartessian for the language of the core Tartessian zone, attested for these researchers with some archaeological graffiti, like the Hue Elva Graffito, and maybe with some stele. For example, Villa Manrique de la Condesar. These researchers consider that the language of the inscriptions found outside the core Tartessian zone would be either a different language or maybe a Tartessian dialect, and so they would prefer to identify the language of the stele with a different title, namely Southwestern or South Lusitanian. There is general agreement that the core area of Tartessus is around Huelva, extending to the valley of the Guadalquivir, while the area under Tartessian influence is much wider. Three of the 95 stele, plus some graffiti, belong to the core area. All Cala del Rio, Villa Manrique de la Condesar and Puente Genial. Four have also been found in the middle Guadiana, and the rest have been found in the south of Portugal, where the Greek and Roman sources locate the pre-Roman Sempsi and Cephas, Sinetus, and Celtici peoples. History the most confident dating is for the Tartessian inscription in the necropolis at Medellin, Badajoz, Spain to 650-625 BC. Further confirmatory dates for the Medellin necropolis include painted ceramics of the 7th-6th centuries BC. In addition a graffito on a Phoenician shirt dated to the early to mid-7th century BC and found at the Phoenician settlement of Donia Blanca near Cadiz has been identified as Tartessian by the shape of the signs. It is only two signs long, reading, tetu, or perhaps, toot. It doesn't show the syllable-vowel redundancy more characteristic of the southwestern script, but it is possible that this developed as indigenous scribes adapted the script from archaic Phoenician and other such exceptions occur. The script used in the Mint of Silesia from around 200 BC may be related to the Tartessian script, though it has no syllable-vowel redundancy. Violations of this are known but it is not clear if the language of this mint corresponds with the language of the stele. The Terdetani of the Roman period are generally considered the heirs of the Tartessian culture. Strabo mentions that the Terdetanians are ranked as the wisest of the Iberians, and they make use of an alphabet, and possess records of their ancient history, poems, and laws written in verse that are 6,000 years old. As they assert, it is not known when Tartessian ceased to be spoken, but Strabo records that the Turdetanians, and particularly those that live about the Bar 80s, have completely changed over to the Roman mode of life, not even remembering their own language anymore. Writing, as discussed above, Tartessian inscriptions are in the southwestern script, also known as the Tartessian or South Lusitanian script like all the Paleo-Hispanic scripts, with the exception of the Greco-Iberian alphabet. Tartessian uses syllabic glyphs for plosive consonants and alphabetic letters for other consonants. 
Thus, it is a mixture of an alphabet and a syllabary, a system called a semi-syllabary. Some researchers believe these scripts are descended solely from the Phoenician alphabet, others that the Greek alphabet had an influence as well. The Tartessian script is very similar to the Southeastern Iberian script, both in the shapes of the signs and in their values. The main difference is that southeastern Iberian script does not redundantly mark the vocalic values of syllabic characters. This was discovered by Ulrich Schmoll and allows the classification of most of the characters into vowels, consonants and syllabic characters. As of the 1990s, the decipherment of the script was largely complete, thus the sound values of most of the characters are known. Like most other Paleo-Hispanic scripts, Tartessian did not distinguish between voiced and unvoiced consonants T from D, P from B, or K from. Tartessian is written in scripture continua, making the identification of individual words difficult. Classification. Tartessian is generally left unclassified, due to lack of data, or proposed to be a language isolate due to an absence of connections to the Indo-European languages. Some Tartessian names have been interpreted as Indo-European or more specifically as Celtic. However, the language as a whole remains inexplicable from the Celtic or Indo-European point of view. The structure of Tartessian syllables appears to be incompatible with Celtic or even Indo-European phonetics, and more compatible with Iberian or Basque. Any Celtic elements are thought to be borrowings. Since 2009, John T. Koch has argued that Tartessian is a Celtic language and that the texts can be translated. However, his proposals have been largely rejected by the academic community and the script, which is hardly suitable for the denotation of an Indo-European language, leaves ample room for interpretation. In 2011, in the Old Irish Message List, David Stifter, of the National University of Ireland, Maynooth's Department of Early Irish, says that the identification as Celtic relies on features, specifically medieval Irish, rather than Celtic in general, but Koch disagrees. Texts. Examples from the Tartessian inscriptions or transliteration is Rodriguez Ramos. Macis du Castellino longest Tartessian text known at present, with 82 signs, 80 of which have an identifiable phonetic value. The text is complete given the substitution of the known Tartessian formula B in Arche N in the damaged portion. Tili Qrkuark Astabut Deban Tili Boyer Oberinic N Hafiu Li Asterisk Eraniite Inere Kultao Bsru N Note the reading n in the damaged portion is assumed from the Tartessian formula B anarchy n. This formula contains two groups of Tartessian stems that appear to inflect as verbs. Narki, Narken, Narkeri, Narki Nii, Narkentai, Narki Nai and Br, Brin, Biri, Biantai from comparison with other inscriptions. Fonte vela locoboni robot or air I call teleconan in our eka is the incolab o i i t er b r e b a a s i u n i herd a da robob adir i rock u s i e nar kent imabat er bar at an e t